Welcome back to Community Connections, a program brought to you from the Skagen Rescue Mission. I'm Carla Skogland. In case you weren't here for our first half, and joining me today is Phyllis is on my left and Jen is on my right. And Jen is our Children's Ministries Coordinator. Phyllis is our Director of Women and Children's mm -hmm. Ministries. And we're talking about when moms come to the mission with children. And so we've been, hopefully you got the first half, but if you didn't, don't worry. We still have a lot that we'd love to share with you. So I want to come back though, because you have a cool thing that you do with ice cream cones <laughs> with the kids. So could you, would you share that with our audience, please? Absolutely. What the kids do is they memorize scripture, and for each scripture they memorize, they get uh, an ice cream on their ice cream cone on our bulletin board. And then when um, at the end of the month, if everybody has at least three, then we have ice cream cones with the kids. So they earn ice cream cones. They also earn tokens for other things they read through the book of Matthew. Oh. And um, we are on, now on to the uh, book of Mark. We've read oh, through Matthew, and now we're on Mark, and we're kind of comparing stories and finding details about different stories. Good. Um, and they're, these kids are so excited to bring me their sheet and said, look how many chapters I read this oh, week. Oh, fun. And then do they yeah. get a sticker on their sheet? Yeah, and then they get... Um, Coins and they collect oh. tokens or coins and okay. then they, they go shopping. We have a little store. Oh, set we have up. a store so yeah. they can spend them. They oh, spend what them. A cool! <laughs> I, I love it. And I love the fact you see you start with with just a cone. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and and we want to get ice cream in the cone because the more ice cream, you said, the more ice cream yeah. dips I get in my cone, uh -huh. then I get a prize. Right. Mm -hmm. And the more dips, the bigger the prize. There, yeah, there of you go. Of course. <laughs> well, you know, I'm going to see, maybe maybe my husband do that for me when I go to my book and memorize scripture, you know. Uh, <laughs> that is a really mm -hmm. cool thing to do with the kids. I love it. That is great. Okay, so this is one of the things. But, Mom, if you want your children to learn something, what a great idea. And you will see, we're going to show you the visual illustration. Actually, I'm, we're all sitting in front of it right now, but you will see it at the end of what it looks like. And so it's up on the board behind me, and we have the empty cone and then the ice cream cone. And so as they memorize this, they get it and then they get, boy, the more I yes. get. That's a great idea. I love it. And I love the idea that you have kids reading scripture and they keep track of it yes. because they get coins and they can go shopping at our at our kids' store. Yes. <laughs> and uh, so they get to pick prizes mm -hmm. of what they would like. And they probably get to see things that they maybe would like to earn. Absolutely. So they already have it in their mind what, <laughs> what they want. They to get. So, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, They do. That's great. What a good thing, though, to teach kids a goal mm -hmm. and that they can, uh, they can achieve that goal and yeah. what they do to achieve it, to earn it. Mm -hmm. You know, okay, if this is what it takes and I can reach the goal. How cool. What a great life lesson that is for children though is to is to learn that they can achieve a goal and, and have the reward that they're after mm -hmm. because you know they'll stay that will stand yeah. them in such good stead yes. through life. You know, it, even in school, you know, if they reach the goal and parents can always do this, give them something to earn, some treat if you get a good mark or whatever, there's a lot of things mm -hmm. you can do, but all the way through, you know, and, and then you get used to accomplishment. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, it's not always about what you get, it's about the, the feeling of accomplishment. Mm -hmm. Is that not right? Mm -hmm. You yes. know, I feel like, yeah, I got that, but I feel really good. Mm -hmm. I am so proud. And I'm gonna look, and I'm gonna go back and I'll say, look, I read all these pages, <laughs> you know, and mm -hmm. even even, yeah. even though they do, sure. Mm -hmm. They're gonna say, I read all these pages. Yes, I got my tree, but look what I did. Yes. I think it's a really neat way to reach the different learning levels mm -hmm. that each child has. And it's something that really any age can do, Yes, mm -hmm. but also any learning level could do. Yes. Isn't that wonderful? Mm -hmm. Exactly, any, even the little preschoolers, they can learn, you know, they can learn mm -hmm. a song, yes, they can learn absolutely. a verse that has, you know, maybe five or six words to it, and they get a treat, and they get excited. Mm -hmm. Get a four-year-old doing this, a preschooler, they're excited, because mm -hmm. now that they feel like a big kid, I know yeah, that. <laughs> but but they, they, can, they can do that, and, and they, they learn that. Especially when they have an older brother or sister, and they see them doing it. Oh, and they want to be like them. Mm -hmm. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. Was Go there ahead. a time, Jen, where you were also having them learn the books of the Bible yes, in order? Yes, we because do that. Because <laughs> where my office is located, I can hear people coming up the stairs, 
and I could hear a mom with a little one, and every step was <laughs> was a different book, was a different Bible? book in the Bible. <laughs> How fun! They, he was, you know, you know, mispronouncing a few, but That's he knew right. exactly <laughs> what they were doing, and it was really neat. Oh, that is so fun! I love it because yeah. now it gets the moms involved, mm-hmm. and I know that's one of the other things that we that we work at is is helping moms to know how to be involved with their children mm-hmm. in a productive, mm-hmm. positive yes. way. Yeah. Yeah, because a lot of times our moms have not been parented real well, yeah. so they don't always have real good parenting skills. And it's not that they don't want them, right. but you know we learn by by example. And if they if the moms didn't have a good example, they don't really have a good pattern. So to be able to work with them, and, and I love it that they get involved. But see, they also get involved with their kids when they're reading a certain they amount because mm-hmm. they see them earning their prizes, and they want them to earn them. They do. And um, I think nothing touches a mother's heart more than taking care of her child. Absolutely. And we, we make sure every child has a Bible. And I think that excites the mom the most when yes. they get their Bibles. And the moms will sit down and they'll read the scriptures with the kids. And the, the kids don't have it easy. They have to write a little paragraph on what, what the chapter was about. Okay. You know, so they're, they're, really, they're sure. really working on it. They're working hard and they're searching through their new Bibles. Isn't that? But, yeah. but you know, the other thing is they're getting excited about God's Word. Yes. Mm-hmm. There is nothing that's going to stand mm-hmm. the test of time. As we know, mm-hmm. it's the Bible. Yes. The Bible, yes. it doesn't change. It stays the same, and it is our guidebook mm-hmm. for life. Yes. 